Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Kenchi with our Fogman Only playthrough, episode 29 with the series here. Um, thank you all for your patience. I apologize. I know it's been a while since the last Fogman episode. <clears throat> and uh, honest to God, guys, um, it's just because of work for me. Summertime. I've mentioned this before in previous episodes and in previous series, but I'm going to say it again for those of you that might not have been paying attention or he, uh, might not have heard it before. But um, summertime is the busiest time of the year for me in my industry. Um, I own a business for my day job and uh, I do home remodeling, uh, sort of is the general gist of it. And summertime, I get really, we have a very seasonal weather where I live. So we have very violent winters. I mean, violence is probably not the right word to use, but they're pretty hectic. They're pretty crazy winters. You get a lot of snow, like four or five feet of snow. So people usually don't want you doing that kind of work in their homes in the wintertime because people are usually trapped inside their homes. It's not nice out, so they can't escape their homes, uh, which means everybody wants their homes remodeled in the summer or wants you know their kitchens remodeled or bathroom remodeled or whatever, which means the summer times are just stupid busy for me. And um, YouTube just for me is not a job. I don't do this for a living at all. It doesn't even come close to being living material. So unfortunately, I have to find free time to record. And if I'm spending all of my time working because I'm I'm self-employed, so labor laws don't apply to me, <laughs> then uh, I end up working, you know, 14 hour days and I just can't find time to record. And I work right through the weekends in the summer usually and I'm just super busy. So I do apologize. But uh, thank you guys for your patience. I haven't had a lot of people asking me where the heck the videos are, so I do appreciate you guys being patient about it. <clears throat> um, I will say the nice thing about um, living where I do is the winter time, my my industry does slow down, so I'm always able to produce way more content uh, whenever the cold comes. But yeah, during the uh, summer, it's just a real headache for me. It's a super big pain right in my my bottom sometimes. Uh, anyway, but yeah, we've got a lot going on here. I've actually been pretty eager to play because I've got uh, some things I want to do. So there's a couple of bad things here going on. Uh, one of them being for the home base, people are going hungry because I forgot to leave food here. Well, that's not true. The food I left here is not enough food and they've eaten through it. Uh, and the game crashed. So <laughs> I'm going to load it back up and I'll be back. All right, and we are back um, <laughs> where we left off. I mean, literally where we left off. Um, anyways, that's enough, uh, you know, woes of my life. We'll uh, get into the game here. It's what you guys are here to see anyways. You're not here to listen to my problems. So um, things that we have left to do. Like I said, everybody back at home base is starving because I did not provide or did not leave enough food. A uh, little bit of a problem. I don't think anybody here has any extra food on them. I think everybody's pretty much eating their stores. So uh, it is what it is. We'll start sending the Foggies group back here uh, shortly. I believe there's some food here on Billy. Yeah, he's got a decent amount. It's not a lot, but it'll feed everybody back at home base <clears throat> until the resource group gets back. But uh, the plan was to raid the Shinobi Thieves. I don't know any other way we could really raise our stats with them. I can't talk to them because we're enemies with them. So it's not like I could just run up and pay the 10,000 cats to befriend them. Because I don't even get the option to talk to them. Uh, the thief boss here, I can only attack them. And the um, we could go around and try to find down Shinobi Thieves and heal them to get our reputation up. But the chances of finding down Shinobi Thieves, let alone finding enough of them... To get our reputation up is pretty much non-existent. So we're just going to go ahead and beat the crap out of these guys. And we're going to steal their stuff. And I'm hoping we'll get some good backpacks out of it. Um, actually, I'm hoping we'll get some good anything out of it. I do like the fog mask. That's pretty cool. Um, even though it's not really that great of a... I'm going to do this. It's not really that good of a thing here I still think it looks cool come on man there see looks pretty cool on our fogman I like it all right let's go uh, kill the shinobi thieves and hopefully get a backpack out of it or something how strong is this guy by the way he's pretty damn tough I'm gonna get in there with Tarsus 
Oh, and Nara's gonna run right in and do some damage. Um, here comes another Shinobi Thief, uh, another tough ninja guard here. We'll put Commander Short Sight on that. We'll get Penwin on it. Um, I'll go ahead and jump in, and we'll have Richard jump in. Um, we've literally fought this guy into the wall. Ooh, 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 okay. Get a Nara over here, Drexel, Tarsus. Then for the other one, we'll get Ilium, Mroka, and Sir Camo, and Scoops. Because I'm assuming more are going to come out, see? So I'm pulling more people here. Ah, it's a lot more than I thought. All right, we'll get Billy over here too, because he's got that nice area of attack or whatever. Oh boy, this is getting a little out of control now. These ninja guards are no joke, but it looks like we took the boss thief guy down. We'll get Suo back here real quick. I just want to loot him and see what he's got before I forget. Okay, we're going to have to head inside the house with it. Uh, looks like we did pretty good. Nobody went down. That's kind of shocking. Okay, kidnap him then. Really? Okay, Kane, can you kidnap this guy? No, no, no. Come here. Huh. All right, well, he's just stuck there, I guess. It is what it is. Um, I'll go ahead and pick up whatever I can. We'll definitely take any med kits. I'm not going to take any shoddy grade trash, but there's a backpack there I want. So it's a just regular thieves backpack. I definitely want to have that on my character, so I'll drop this backpack off for somebody else. Ooh, plus we got some drifter boots. Um, who am I going to give this backpack to? Kane is somebody that I'm constantly pulling stuff, um, or I'm constantly using for stuff. So, wait, what the heck? No. Kane, yeah. So we'll give him the bag. I'd like to keep some of this stuff on me. Well, why do I have these? I can learn, I can research those. Um, we'll keep the, the med kits and stuff, some of the med stuff. The rest of these can stay on Kane because he actually uses them. Um, just give him these ones though. I'll take some of these. All right, perfect. So the thieves backpack. That makes me happy. We've been needing that backpack for a while. Um, what else do we got? Any med kits I'll take. These ninja blades are okay. They're really, well, no, they're not. They're terrible. They're garbage. They're absolutely trash. Um. None of this is good stuff. I would have expected the... Uh, these these are not bad. But I would have expected the Shinobi Thieves to be a little bit better geared. I don't know why. I just expected it. Um, Sigma. Here you go. Boy, you're using a really garb garbage topper there. Yeah, these are a little bit nicer. Is anybody else using garbage like that? Holy crap, I wasn't aware that we were rolling with trash. Suo. Damn. Here, Suo, this is not much. No, it is better. It's significantly better. There you go. All right, and you. Just med kits. All right, they can keep beating people down. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking some stuff, um, especially any food. A splint kit is always a must. We'll uh, loot all this stuff here. So that is the Shinobi Thieves cleared out of the hub. Not bad. We gotta hurry up and head back so we don't, uh, our home base doesn't starve, but we've got a little bit of time. They'll be all right. Yes, I was so hoping that we would get and I'll take the assassins rags I was so hoping we would get some more thieves backpacks here. Um, so Kugai here got the one backpack. No Kane. I gave it to Kane I should have given it to Kugai. I think that's what I meant to do um, Tarsus has a backpack So no big deal. We'll give Kugai this other thieves backpack um, for now I may give it to somebody else in the other group. I'll think about it shoddy grade fog mask 
Um, Suo doesn't have any type of helmet, so I guess that's better than nothing. I guess he can't wear it. It's because of his head, the shape of his head. Interesting. I'm going to assume that's what it is. I doesn't mean I'm right, um, but I think that's what it is. Okay. How about upstairs? These are for practicing on. We could actually put people on these if we wanted to right now and have them practice, but what is the point? I think most of our group is good to go. The, let's see, I'm gonna take the green fruit because even though it's not food that we can eat, Thought I saw somebody running. Um, I need to. I need it for planting, I guess. If I'm gonna actually make a farm, then I need to have it for planting. We uh, we could use the beds, but we don't need to. We didn't really get that beat up. So this would be good. My plan is to actually hit maybe like a Holy Nation farm on the way back, so we can get some green food or something for planting. And I need wheat as well. Uh crappy assassin rags. No. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's a ninja rag shirt, which uh, I could actually wear. It would give me an even bigger stealth bonus, but I think at this point, I would rather have the... I'd much rather have the... Um, protection and the stealth. Wow, these are actually pretty locked. I wonder if there's going to be some good stuff in here. I wasn't expecting 14%. Uh, That's... Yeah, not bad. Swamp Ninja mask belt. Uh, more fog mask. We'll take it. I don't think we can wear that leather shirt. Uh, actually, we can. Uh, I'm not going to put it on my character, though, but we'll put it on somebody. This is part of the mediocre black armor, so. Masked helmet. These are both pretty good. The skeleton mask. That's a belt, actually. I think these are both belt slots. Yes. So, I don't have a belt. Um, these are not belt. Let's see. So, one of these would be good to put on. Um, probably. Well, they both have pretty bad stealth effects so actually neither one of them would be good the only benefit would be if we found something that's got that doesn't affect our stealth for my character but I can give those belt slot items to somebody else is there anything up here no just beds so it's whatever we loot here is what we loot or what we have anyway boy I'm surprised so what's my lock picking right now 74, and they have a lat low of a percentage with 74 lock picking. That seems pretty. Oh, 59, but 74, because I don't know. So, something's giving me a bonus. Okay, this also hurts stealth. Bummer. But we'll take both of those. Okay. A weapon cabinet with a high higher pick locking rate. Uh, yeah, not bad. Both of these are good. That's a really good. That's actually a pretty good weapon. Okay. And that is considered a katana. So, there goes the thief boss. So, if it's better than mine, I could swap it out. It's an MK2. This is an MK1. Pretty good blood loss. I will say that. Attack bonus, defense, minus six, attack, plus six. Attack bonus minus six, a defense bonus plus 12, indoor bonus plus six. Um, they're both pretty good. I think we've got somebody using that. Maybe I'll just give them to that. Okay. Not bad. Get the whole group out here. Fight the thief boss real quick. Does he have anything good? 
Oh, yeah, actually, he's got a lot of cats on him. It's a good thing I fought him. Plus that, which is actually pretty good. Thousand, that, that, there. And some standard grade stuff, which is okay. Um. Okay, so, let's see. Who's using what? You've got uh, these here, which are fine. Do we got anybody using garbage? You've got a pole arm that's pretty trash. Um, these are okay. Could be better. Okay, so you're using... Suo's using a ninja blade. So we'll give Suo um, this really nice one. And Sigma... Let's see, who else? That's a pole arm. Um, fourteen hundreds. That's pretty garbage there. And then the Tessin. I'd like to give it to somebody. I give it to Koo Guy, but he, I like him using that. Um, that's all sabers. That's way better as it is. Even though I gave him the really nice side, I guess he can have that too. All right, and then Kugai, we'll give Kugai a mask, belt mask, because this will make these guys just that much more armored, Tarsus and Kane. And then for actual helmets, scoops, that's still high grade. I'd rather trade out something that's not as good. We've got a mast helmet that's shoddy grade. It's pretty good. This is actually better, isn't it? Where's Drexel? Good. Gets rid of that perception there. Yeah, it's definitely a no-brainer. Do we have anything else like that? Sewell couldn't wear it, right? Yeah, I can't believe it. He actually cannot wear that. Um, yeah, that's actually better. And then, can you wear the shirt? No, you can't. These guys can't wear it. Okay, I've got an idea. Then we'll have Sigma wear that, and I'll wear this. It's actually... Not as good. It's very close. Very close. But if I can't, if I can wear this and they can't, then I might as well do that because I'd be crazy not to. So can any of these guys wear the rags? Oh, what's that? That's shoddy grade though. That's the the chain shirt. I don't think. Oh, yep. So that can be that can be worn. There we go. Okay, I think everybody's pretty much set. Bog has this crappy dust coat. Because he was originally wearing my armor. I guess we could just give him these rags. The dust coat's actually probably better, but whatever. I don't care now. The de deed has been done. Okay, we've got one green fruit. We need five. Oh my god. If we're going to... Get a farm going, so we'll have to loot some Holy Nation garbage crap. Is what we'll have to do. Alright, we'll have Billy lead the way. I think he's the slowest out of everybody for some dumb reason. He's got a bunch of crap on him. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck's going on? Okay, I must have set everybody to trade with him, not follow him. Stupid. There. 
So this group has to start coming back. Um, best way. We got to hit a holy farm that I haven't completely killed. So let's just head to here first. Okay, let's head to the resource group next. These guys have been sitting here for quite some time. They need to uh, move. Although I'm not sure where anymore. I know we're heading for the Leviathan Slayer area. Oh. Outside of that, I don't know. Yeah, they don't have road priority. They're going to try to take the water. I'd much rather they focus to going around the water. I think it'll be a little bit quicker. Uh, that beak thing nest is still here? No. That's just garbage. I was going to load these guys right up with food, but now I'm just thinking, take them back and, well, no, we have to recruit a bunch more Fogmen, so if I'm going to get a bunch more Fogmen going and I don't have a farm yet, I need to get more food. Okay, so this was one of the areas that I originally decided I was going to come back and loot, so we better deal with it, but what's going on here? Uh, yeah, not bad. So now everybody's ahead. Um, they've pretty much made it. Do I dare send them into Holy Nation territory? Probably not a good idea. Just send them that way. And let me guess. You guys are fighting beak things. Yeah. No, what are you fighting? Tech hunters. Okay. This is good. Good practice for everybody. Tech hunters are great. Plus, they got the med kits. So, it's like you get the practice and then you get the free med kits that you can use to heal your units. And it was a lot of tech hunters. There was a good amount here. And this bad boy's got a bounty on him. Hell. One, two, three, four. Damn, that was a group of... That was a big group of tech hunters. Five, six. Wow. Our guys really had their hands full here. Um, Toy Kaka and Do Dozer are down. Okay, we'll have Big Daddy grab the med kits because he's, he's our medic, so he'll use them. They uh, wear all standard grade stuff, so it's always nice to loot them. Even a little bit of high grade, but the heart protector is like, eh, it's good, but it's, you know. We'll go through and see if anybody's, if anybody needs any of this. I'm sure somebody here does. Or can use it. What the heck? Kidnap them and then put them down. There. Thundersteel, I bet you can use some type of helmet. If somebody's got it. Right there. Standard grade, armored hood, a lot better than that. What else? Anybody need like boots or pants would be preferred? I know it's a high grade cargo pants, but we can do a little bit better. These samurai cloth pants, much better. Um, you need a helmet of sorts. Thought there was a high grade one. Can't wear that. Oh, standard grade iron hat. It's a high grade of that. Both these guys needed pants too. Preferably armored rags. Or something. Samurai cloth pants will take that. And standard grade boots. Nice. See, this is always great, uh, great way to get good gear for these guys. Or decent gear, whatever. Doesn't always have to be good gear. Could just be decent. Wow, you've got specialist grade. I didn't even know. 
that I had that for you. Okay, back to the foggy group. We got to get these guys back to home base or people are going to starve. Who is slow here? Okay, hold on, Billy, because you're not the fastest or the slowest. Scoops is definitely the slowest. So we'll have everybody follow Scoops. That way we stay together. And we'll head up because we're going to... A lot of people at the home base are starving. We might... People passing out. We might lose a few people. I don't know. Animal trader. If it was an actual caravan with trade goods, I would attack it. But an animal trader, I'm not going to worry about because... Even though we could get the food. Those nomads are no joke. Some people are commenting a couple episodes ago. They're like, oh, you're getting beat up by nomads. Like, these guys are 40 stats. Like, 40 level stats. They're higher than your basic Holy Nation guy. These are not, like, just farmers with hoes. They are, <laughs> they are well-trained, well-seasoned veterans of war. Um, you know, 40 stats are like your Holy Nation. Um, like, they're higher than your servants. They're, they're pretty... Uh, they're pretty high up there with 40 stats. I mean, most of our characters are still... Um, like, our basic characters here are still in the 30s. Like, everybody is still in the 30s. It's If you're playing this game and you get beat up by those guys, don't feel any shame. Yep, Fogman is dead. That's okay. They're not named Fogman. I don't feel as bad about it. It was bound to happen at some point. Um, this is just my negligence for not leaving food there. And you know what? I don't care. It is what it is. I can't go back in time and change the past. I can only learn from my ways and hopefully prevent it in the future. So I don't see any reason to send everybody down there because I just risk pulling a whole Holy Nation caravan. Although we should have picked up another plastic surgeon. Is somebody carrying him? Yeah, Richard is. Is he still alive? He is. So we don't want to lose him. That's pretty important. I think I'm going to run my character down there. All I'm trying to do is just steal from these farms and get enough resources that I can grow my own. I guess from the wheat farms because as far as I can see, there's no green fruit. Uh, but I could probably raid. Yeah, I don't want to pull those paladins. I could probably raid some of that. Is this just the same people getting up, or am I fighting different people? Same people getting up. This is uh, perfectly fine. Uh, Diablo could do some picking up. We have skeleton eyes we're going to pick up, skeleton muscle. There's a lot of stuff here, so. Um, and more food to pick up as well. But let's let's deal with this first. I want to get back. To, I don't want to lose too many Fogmen. You know, they've been working hard for me, so I, I got to try to treat them right. You know, eventually some of these fo these fogmen are going to be named. You could be one of these fogmen that are uh, slowly dying. Oh, what is attacking cups? Why is cups out all the way out here? That's right. I did send them out here. This was way back off camera. I'll just send them back. What's he being attacked by? Well, he can handle that. See? Cups does all right. He can hold his own. Okay, back. Uh, I better uh, I better save the game real quick. The game's acting kind of weird on me. It's like starting to... I don't know. I don't want it to crash again. It's been like a really weird problem I've been having. Um, I'm sure it's some sort of mod. I have the mods in the wrong order or some type of mod compatibility thing. I'm not really that concerned. I'm just, I just know that it's happening. Um... All right, so I guess I'll just head inside and see if I can loot uh, stuff that these guys have. Because they might have green fruit inside these chests or something. You know, it's a possibility. Actually, a pretty big possibility, maybe. Take the bread. I'm not going to worry about the grog anymore because we're 
we're good on cats and I just don't feel like dealing with it with it You know, I find green food all the time, and then the one time I need it, I can't find it. That's uh, pretty typical, actually. There's another plastic surgeon if I wanted to have two of them. Might not be a bad idea. I could have a backup plastic surgeon someplace. Ah. Uh... These guys did not like me being in there. That guy mounted the turret, which is not good. Aha! Wheat straw. And water. Just grab me all this wheat straw, because I'll be able to at least get my own. No, don't, don't operate the farm, though. But at least with all of this, I'll be able to get my own wheat farm going. But no green fruit. Maybe in that other building, but I'm not going to risk it. All right, we're going to put all this on uh, Billy here. And then I should probably check and make sure that I actually need wheat straw. I actually already put the farms down. Boy, I kind of don't want Alice to starve, though. We really need to start heading back. Did I put the farms down? I did. Right here. So these are green fruit farms. Yeah, we need wheat farms. Let me build them real quick so I could check and make sure that's what they definitely take. They're extra small. Eventually we can get bigger. Wheat farms will actually do really well so we can do a lot of wheat. We'll just be eating a lot of bread is what'll happen. Yep, five wheat straw. So we can get a couple wheat farms up. That'll, that'll at least get us bread and then from there we can go out and do some other stuff. So let's just head back for now. We'll bring the food back with us. Everybody will rejoice. It'll be glorious. Oh, that's right. We were all falling scoops. What am I doing? No holy nation around as far as I can tell. We've got a little bit of a journey. Just, just a little bit. Speak of the devil. Holy nation. Hang a left. We could actually fight a small patrol like that. <laughs> but. Oh no, those are, those are hungry bandits. Never mind. Although I, I don't want to fight them either because we're kind of in a hurry. Not that it would take us long, but I want to spend the time, if I can help it, I don't want to spend the time fighting them and having to, our guys to heal up. And Here, just knock this guy out real quick. There. See, then every, I got to get everybody rallied up again. Oh, God. There's another farm over here. I can't remember if it has green fruit, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to go back, get our wheat farms up, and then we'll we'll focus on the whole green fruit thing in another life. I'm just not going to make it a big deal this time around. All right, make sure our guys head straight that way and not through the military base. All right, how's the resource group holding up? There's a couple stuff here I wanted to grab. Skeleton eye. Skeleton muscle. Another skeleton eye. God, there's so much stuff. Um, I don't need the iron plates anymore or the building mats. I could get like the steel bars, electrical components. Um, I don't need the capacitor. I mean, the only reason I'd be grabbing that's a cell. So... I guess I can get it for that. Um, copper alloy plates. I might pick up skeleton repair kits. You can't pick that up. Yeah, see, this is all stuff I'll sell, or I probably take some of it back. 
Um, electrical components I'll keep. Just can't believe how much stuff is here. But I guess it's good to come here and grab it. The power cores are worth a good amount. Oh, more. Oh, this is a good place to come if you're going to do the skeleton playthrough, because holy crap. It just doesn't end. Everybody's up except for Dozer, too. Power cores. More electrical components. I think the capacitors are worth a decent amount, but at this point, actually, no, they're not. At this point, the, um, because I think the power cores are. Yeah. The Leviathan Slayer is not going to have enough money anyways for all this crap. So I don't even know if it makes sense to pick it all up. We could always go in and out and just see. Okay, we already looted this, but I double checked the other one and I found hidden stuff like this, so it's possible that I might find more hidden stuff. Why not look? Uh, like this huge cleaver that I never grabbed. That's what I'm talking about. So that is a heavy weapons. Let's see. We're using blunt or Diablo is. Who here is using heavy weapons? And has maybe like a crappy heavy weapon. Right there. Look at that. So Andaria can come in here. And do a swaparoo. Nice. That huge cleaver will be uh, pretty handy. That's why I'm double checking these. Look at this. Jeet. Better than this. And it's a blunt weapon. Cool. See, good thing I'm double checking all these sites. All right, back to the foggies. And good timing because there's an enemy hunt moving towards our outpost, which means the Sheck are on the way, and we'll be able to prepare for that. Let's get our fogman over here before more people starve to death. And then we can get our farm set up too. And that'll be nice. I'll store more food in the chest so everybody can eat. And there's not enough food though, so we have to go right back out or we have to get the resource group moving. That's a uh, escape prisoner, isn't it? Lower servant. And then I'm going to be putting together a pretty interesting group. We need to head south and start uh, start scouting the southern lands. I think that the resource group I'm going to have come back in the foggies I'm going to send south to do all of that uh, ruin searching. And then the resource group I'll have back here guarding the base. They'll also hit ruins up. Maybe, or maybe I'll send them down and have them beat up on caravans and fight the hive some more. So we can get some more good stuff. Um, once I got the farms up and running and we're making our, our own food, then I'm going to... Or once we get our own food production up, I'm going to focus on doing... Um, focus on doing... Oh my god blacksmithing and stuff getting like a whole wait no getting a whole uh, industry up for armor and such are you kidding me are we really that low on food oh my god our fogmen are just burning food like it's nothing 
Not good. Wow, we're really that low. Not low on medkits, though. Plenty of medkits. That's because I take the initiative to pick one up every single time I grab it. Or see it. You really can never have too many medkits. I can't believe we're that low on food. That's not good. There's not even enough food here for this group. But I'm going to put this stuff in there, I guess. I have no choice. These guys are going to all starve to death. They got to eat, so. Watch as everybody comes sprinting in here. Eat. Come eat. Heck, the whole group's coming. Scoop, stay. That's not your food. You got plenty of food. Scoops. Eat the sandwich. There. You're not you when you're hungry. Okay. <laughs> nice. Everybody ate. Everybody's going to live. Um, I'm going to go ahead then and store the... If I can, store the wheat. I got to get uh, my storage all organized, but that's for another time. There's room in here. There you go. Fogman's going to grab some of this maybe, maybe not. Here. Get to work. All right, perfect. And we'll see how many of those farms we can build. That didn't take long. I need Fogman that can work that too. But at this point, I'm going to say take Fogman that... He's unconscious. But he did he did manage to eat beforehand. Alright. Yeah, I need fogmen that are I can't recruit more fogmen because we're already hurting. Um Alice, your researcher. So you're gonna go back to researching. Oh, we also got a our uh, one guy here we gotta put in. Okay, so stone mine, that's fine. Writing desk, iron resource, iron refinery, stone processor. Two stone processors? No, well. Okay, when you're not working the well, I want you doing the wheat farm. Manual stone processor. That's fine at this point. And we're going to take yours off and you're going to work that farm. And then I guess you're just going to wait for it to grow. We should be able to make bread. We need more fogman for cooking and stuff. I will say that. Can I do bread, actually? Fish cube, meat cube, salad, sausage, rice bowl, meat wrap, gohan, food cube, cooked vegetables. Uh-oh. We can't even do bread. The food cubes takes green fruit and bread. We need green fruit. Bread, raw meat... Well, how do I do bread? If none of these will do bread, there must be a research I'm missing. Uh, um, what is it under? Let's see, farming? Crafting? No. Oh, I do want to do sleeping bags. But I'll hold off. Ah, uh, basic medicine. We need medicine. We need basic first aid kits first. Yeah, we got to definitely get that. Um, industry. I thought there was a uh, food. Desert cooking. Animal food. Cost two wheat straw. 
Wheat straw farming. Okay. So we have to grind it down to make bread. And we need two wheat straw for that. But I have the wheat straw farm. A wheat farm. I just want to figure out how to make bread. Oh, well, we've done good regardless. Hive Queen Throne, Leather Vest. So let's learn this stuff. We need Hive Architecture for that. Exotic Weapons. That was the Falling Sun. Yeah. It's empty. Well, of course it's... Ah, you can't hold a... Um... Okay. I get it. There, now you can work. Okay, so I gotta figure out the food situation still. Rice weed, what's it take? To make rice weed. It's not the best environment, but we can make it work. Crap, I wish I could see them. Just five rice weed, so. Dismantle that for now. Alright, so I've got to get rice weed. We've got to definitely go out and hit maybe some Holy Nation farms and such. And I'll have to get the resource group down here. I'll probably send this group back out to get uh, more materials. But uh, we'll have to wait because the Sheck are on their way. I need to get these cages full. Of people. So it's not just me fighting the shack. Sorry, Fog Prince. That should pull a couple of them here, though. We got a Fog Heavy as well. Anybody else? Just those two? We definitely don't want anything happening to our Plastic Surgeon. We've got one Fog Prince here to name. Plus a bunch of fogmen at some point we gotta get named. Here you go, Richard. Go ahead and place him uh, in our upstairs cage. Some people suggested I shut this door. I have it set to private. That doesn't seem to help. And I don't think setting the door helps or locking the door helps as well or shutting it. Maybe locking it? That might that might stop it. We'll see if that makes a difference. If not, everybody uh, might be in trouble. We'll find out. What do we got here? Oh, the Hundred Guardian. They're on their way right now. They're slaying Fogman as they come up here. Whew, boy. Well, it was a good time for our army to get here, so we'll have to wait outside the uh, <clears throat> gate for them. I guess at this point, it's whether or not the Fogman are going to make it in time. 
to join in on the fun. But we'll have to wait for the next episode since we're out of time. The Fogman right now down here are busy fighting this Holy Nation outlaw. We could be in trouble. These guys are not going to be easy to take on by ourselves. Not too bad, though. Ah, uh, They'll be tough. <laughs> they will be tough. But uh, we've got two Fogman poised in here, so we'll have to see if the cages can draw maybe a few Fog Princes and a Praetorian and get some stuff done. So we've got a busy couple of episodes ahead of us. I'll try to get to content out a little bit more frequently. I do thank you guys for being patient with me been a very hectic uh, summer but yeah we'll uh have some wheat going here i'll have to figure out how to make bread and i gotta get some green fruit and oh we got all sorts of stuff so that being said i want to thank you all for joining me i hope that you've enjoyed it i look forward to seeing you next time